Okay, so I'll admit it. I'm a bit of a Corvette guy. My very first racing experience was actually in my dad's C3 Corvette, and I've been lucky enough to track test every version of the C6. So when the opportunity came up to test this, the all new C7, here at the Auto Guide test track, I jumped on it. So let's put this puppy in track mode, turn off the trash control, and see what she can really do. Underneath this carbon fiber hood lives the LT4 small block V8. It now has direct injection and variable valve timing. It's rated to 455 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 460 pound-feet of torque at 4,600 RPM. Although you can get it with an automatic, we've got the Enthusiast Choice gearbox, 7-speed manual, and it even has a rev match feature so you get perfect blipping on downshifts. With launch control enabled, this car will sprint from zero to 60 in just 3.8 seconds and do the quarter mile in 12 seconds flat. The standard C7 starts at just $53,800 and this Z51 with the 3LT interior package comes in at $71,000. First of all, I gotta say that compared to the C6, this interior is absolutely gorgeous. It's a huge, huge step up from the old car. Everything in here is covered in soft touch materials. There's a leather wrapped dash, there's suede wrapped headliners, there's a carbon fiber trim. It's just a really beautiful interior, frankly, at any price. The seats are another area of huge improvement in this car. Anyone who's been in a C6 will tell you that those seats were pretty awful, and the Corvette team has addressed that. These new seats are very comfortable, very supportive. They're much more stiff. You feel like you're in a proper sports car now. These seats will give you the support that you need. I should also mention that these seats are fully adjustable, electronically controlled, they're heated and ventilated, and they even have adjustable power bolsters. Unlike Corvettes of old, I should also point out that there's a ton of technology in here, but it's all very well thought out and very easy to use. It starts here with the driver mode select button, which gives you control of the central screen in the gauge cluster that's totally customizable and changes depending on what mode you're in. So if I go to track mode, for example, it gives me this beautiful sweeping rev counter, and it also allows me to look at a friction circle or even tire pressures. First of all, I gotta say that this Velocity yellow tin coat is pretty spectacular. Obviously, it ties into the Corvette racing team. This is the Z51 model, though, and there's a lot of other unique touches on it, so let's go over those. For starters, there's functional brake ducting built into the front grille. The front brakes are also an inch bigger than the base model and have paint-matched four-pot Brembo calipers. There's also vents on the back fenders that feed cold air to both a differential cooler and a transmission cooler. And the carbon fiber hood has venting as well that's functional and creates downforce as air is fed out through the radiator. As you can see, we've also taken off the carbon fiber roof because it's such a beautiful sunny day out here and I want to feel the wind in my hair. All right, so we're out here on our test track in track mode. So our magnetic dampers are firmed up. The E-differential is in its most aggressive mode. And this car even has performance traction management, which, which lets us fine tune the suspension settings even more. I've also got rev matched engage, which you might have heard there, so I don't have to do the heel and toe downshifts myself. And man, this thing just hauls ass. It is a rocket ship in a straight line, and it sounds as good as it goes. Brake feel is really good too, man. I'm very impressed by how responsive it is. Really good feedback under my foot. But that's where the fun really gets going. 
all the way up to the 6,000 plus red line. Down into third here, and let's see if this baby will slide a little. Oh yeah, there she goes. Very nice balance. Very composed too. These high quality dampers really work well around the track. You bang it off the curbs and it just soaks up the bumps. It gives you so much confidence as a driver to use an aggressive line. Man, this thing is fast! Alright, now that we've had some fun for a few laps, let's cool down a little bit and talk about some of the technology that they've built into this new Corvette. Track mode's a lot more than just adjustable dampers and, and tr adjustable traction control. It's also about adjusted steering feel. They've made the steering a lot heavier in, in track mode, so it's, it's giving me a more positive, solid feel when I want it. One of my biggest complaints about the C6 was always the transmission. I just found the throws were too long, too heavy, and just didn't have that precise gating that I wanted. I, I just didn't have the confidence I wanted on downshifts. But this new seven speed manual is a vast improvement over that old gearbox. The, the throws are still fairly long, but the action is much lighter and much more positive. It just slides into gear. We should also talk a little bit about this all new LT4 pushrod V8. It's the most sophisticated V8 Chevrolet's ever built. And man, it's a singer. First of all, it's got a ton of torque below 4,000 RPM. It's much stronger than the old LS3. And up high in the revs, it just sings. Absolutely love this motor. I guess the biggest question for me was, how would this car behave with all the electronics turned off? And the good news is, it's spectacular. It is so well balanced. It's so poised. You can drift this thing in a way that you could never in a C6. It's just perfectly balanced. A good indication of how well balanced this chassis really is, is how it's using all four tires. And here we can see tire pressures are absolutely even across all four contact patches. Really impressed by that. Final note, I should say the brakes on this car are also spectacularly good. I've been pounding out the laps here today and I haven't seen any brake fade. Overall, I gotta say I am hugely impressed by this car. For the money, heck, even if it was 30 grand more, this is a ton of performance and it's very, very accessible. But it's still a ton of fun. We've got the manual gearbox, we've got blip shift happening, you can turn all the trash control off and drive it as much as you want to. And man, it just asks for more. The Corvette has always been a value proposition. It's always been a lot of bang for the buck and buyers have always been willing to overlook the interior and other problems because of that big, sexy V8. Now the Corvette's got exotic car styling on the outside, a world-class interior, and performance to match. In fact, the new C7 Z51 is so fast, it did a 118.8. That's almost a second faster than the 911 Carrera 4S, and just three tenths off the track record in a $200,000 Audi R8. If that's not world-class value, I don't know what is.